Hey, it's Adam with the Productivity Academy and uh, had somebody asking about how I take uh, notes with YouTube videos, videos in general. So today I want to tell you about how I take notes on YouTube videos using annotate.tv. Now, quick disclaimer, there is another tool that I use um, and I will go into that in future videos. I haven't created it. Um, that is Memex. Um, you can check that out. I believe I forget the link, but you can Google Memex World Brains. Um, that's another great tool, um, lots of details to go into there, but I want to focus on this annotate.tv is made specifically, uh, for YouTube videos and it works, uh, just amazingly well. So I'm going to start on their page. I think they do a good job of explaining. Let me shrink my head down here about what happens. And I'm going to go in and show this kind of with a live video, but this is what it generally looks like. You can see over here on the left, you get, um, the annotations you've made. Here's the main video screen. You can add a title if you want to your note. For example, if you add a title, that's what it'll look like here. Fake progress would be the title. And then whatever you write would be um, the actual note. You don't need that. But it can also do a transcript on the fly. So you can click a button and get a transcript. Uh, you can get text off of the video. Very cool, right? So what you see on the screen, you can click a button and get that text. Um, and then you can search across your notes and you can also export and share, which is really cool. Um, also, I want to uh, make a note that this integrates with Readwise. So for those of you who are Readwise users out there uh, and use that to take your notes into places like Rome Research or Notion or Evernote, uh, this is compatible with that. And if you're not using uh, Readwise, check out the link below uh, for how I use it and definitely check it out. Very much worth using. So. Let's uh, take a look at this. So there's two ways to do it, right? Uh, I'm already logged in. I could paste a YouTube link uh, and go and do that. You can be logged in here, or you can be, for example, on YouTube. Um, I've got an old video here that I had recorded about ClickUp, and I have their extension installed, right? Here it is, annotate.tv. So I can click that button, and it loads it up. And let's go with an example here. I'm just going to take some kind of... Uh, uh, placeholder notes, if you will, while we do this, but I'm going to go ahead and click play. I've got it muted and I'm just going to, for example, do a uh, title one. And when you start typing, it pauses, which I really like about this. So this is note one. Here's some formatting. I'm just going to make it bold so we can, let's do that. All right, and you can see it uses markup formatting, which is nice because that works across platforms. Okay, so we can click create and you'll see up here, it is now populated and the video starts again and we can move on. All right, over here, we can take text from video. I don't use it that often, but when there's like, if you're watching like conference slides, um, presentations where it's just a screen share, that can be really effective. I have used it a few times. Um, it's not something where I would use it here where like I'm sharing a screen share of a, of a tool, but more of like a presentation with big words. Uh, you can do auto transcript. And if you need to find out more about that, they have these really handy tool tips and then a transcript 30 second range. So it'll grab like the last 30 seconds. So let's try that. So we've got it here. Uh, if you have a question, leave me a comment, right? It's just me doing the intro. So I'll just put in intro transcript test. Click the check mark again and keep going. Uh, and then one thing I want to do, let's just, um, I'm just going to skip forward here a bit and put test to placeholder. Okay. So now we've got a few, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got a few annotations. Now what happens over here, this is handy because if you want to come back uh, to something, maybe you want to add to your original, like you're watching something later in the video, you can just click on that and it'll take you back to the note and take you back to the time in the video. Very handy. All right, now let's take a look here. Up top, we've got several options, right? We can copy Markdown, export, export PDF, export CSV, copy YouTube times, um, share on Twitter, copy the public link, change the layout or edit the title. All right, all very handy. This is really neat though. Check this out. If I copy the public link, let's open up a new tab and go in there. Watch this. This is really handy. So you can share this publicly, right? So you could come in and share this. I could share this, for example, um, if you maybe went in and made annotations on a video, on a how-to or someone else's video, you could share this with anyone and they can come in and see this and come in and see your highlights. So very handy. Use that with my team before, especially for some uh, training videos, find it to be really helpful. Uh, also like conference videos or presentations, that can be really, really neat. So like I said, what'll happen with this, since I'm using Readwise, 
is this will go ahead and I'll have to clear this out. This will be auto um, exported into my Readwise account. And then from there, I've got it hooked up to uh, Rome Research so that it will um, automatically go in there. So great tool for, um, uh, for taking annotations, taking notes on YouTube videos. And I will say that I like, <clears throat> like sometimes I'm thinking, gosh, it'd be nice if this was inline in YouTube, but I actually like having this here. Uh, it's less distracting, right? If we compare this with a typical YouTube page, um, you know, we've got a lot of things going on on the YouTube page, a lot of things to click, a lot going on here. It's about that annotation, taking those notes, focusing on the video. Uh, so very much enjoy that. And I like the simplicity of the layout, um, but there's a lot of power behind this. So highly suggest giving it a shot. I've uh, been a user, I think like at least six months now, really enjoy it. Pricing's great. It's very simple to use. So um, if you do use YouTube a lot for education, for taking notes, things like that, definitely give this a spin, check it out. Uh, if you have any questions, comments about this, uh, leave a note below or a comment and I will get back to you.